What's up guys? Thanks for watching. Back with a tip video for you guys. This week we're talking about protein powder versus real protein from food. And the reason I wanted to highlight this topic was because there are a lot of things out there that could mislead you. So I wanted to make this video, protein powder versus protein from food, to tell you guys that protein powder versus the protein from food, there is no contest. For a long time, a lot of people have been trying to use protein powder as a way to build muscle, gain weight, and yes, I'm one of those people. I thought that protein powder was the end all be all of fitness, and that's the way I'm gonna get big. And at the end of the day, I realized that a lot of the protein powders out there are filled up with chemicals and crap, basically. And I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I always talk about this, but I can't stress it enough that you guys need to check the ingredients on everything that you're putting into your body. And that's what I'm talking about with these big companies and the people that push these protein powders, these weight gainers, you know, these supplements that are cut with other things to kind of stretch their money. If you're someone who's been having shakes in the morning with protein powder and you're saying to yourself right now, oh my God, what I've been doing. Brett, I thought you recommended us protein powder. I did recommend you guys protein powder, but certain kinds. I just look for everything that's non-GMO and I just don't want any type of stuff added to my protein powder or anything that I'm eating that isn't made for my body to digest. Anything that's sold at GNC, anything that's sold at Vitamin Shop, you could find some good things in those stores, but that's not the place you go to put on real muscle and stay healthy. The places you should be going are farmers markets and supermarkets to get all of the food to put into your body. And I'm one of those people that used to use those pre-workouts and used to use the protein powder by the day. And I'm realizing now, unless you find a brand that's completely natural, non-GMO, organic, I really would just stick with real, natural, healthy food to get your proteins and all your antioxidants, your vitamins, your minerals, all right, your energy. But a lot of businesses are going to try to make money in this market off of crap. And like I said, not all protein powder is crap, but it's just so much more important to get protein from real food than protein powder from some Tupperware box. Just because it has L-carnitine in it or L-glutamine, and you can work all of that into your routine on the side as your vitamins in the morning, just like anything else. They're just trying to sell you on, this one has L-carnitine, glutamine, fat burning powder, every freaking thing in the book, all right? The kitchen sink in this little plastic Tupperware container, which you're paying $75 for, and it just doesn't make sense. You're wasting your own time, you're wasting your money. You don't want to rely on this as your intake of protein because protein from food is the best thing for our body and every bodybuilder out there will tell you the same thing. Back in the day when the gladiators were fighting each other, they didn't have protein powders. They were just eating regular food, you know, supplementing themselves with water, with vitamins, healthy, natural, paleo type food. So my tip for you guys this week was less protein powder, more protein from real foods. Less weight gainers, more weight gain from real, natural, healthy sources. So keep this in mind when you guys are looking to tweak your diets, tweak your fitness routines, and really get the most out of what you're putting into your body. I know it might be a hard transition for a lot of you out there, but trust me, the $75 tub of protein powder will lose to protein in real food every single time. For any other types of tip videos you guys wanna see in the future, as always, please just drop a comment below. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Brett Cap. I'll see you guys next time.